This is Western New York's news leader. Now, News 4 at noon. Developing this noon, investigators are working to figure out what started an early morning fire that destroyed four houses on Buffalo's east side. It started at one home on Jewett Avenue before spreading and damaging three other houses. News 4's Ali Ingersoll is live on the scene with the latest information. Ali? Brittany, this overnight fire has been described as devastating. You can see this rubble over here is all that's left of the house where the fire started. This house over here seriously damaged a total loss. And if you walk with me just a little bit, this house as well a total loss. Investigators still don't know what exactly started this fire, though, and what caused it to spread so quickly. Spread very quickly. This is what firefighters arriving to the scene on Jewett Avenue saw when pulling up several houses up in flames. Crews approaching the site of the original fire, fighting it defensively. The structure collapsing. The building's on fire, and then we put a lot of water out to put that fire out, and then we go inside. There's the fire damage, there's the weight of the actual water, and things like that. So there, there's a lot, there's a lot of uh, dangers in addition to the fire. The woods, the family that has lived here for decades, losing everything. Hours later, they look on at the smoldering structure, now rubble, once the walls where they felt safe. Ms. Woods, you know, she was like, she was like a mother to everybody in the, everybody in the community. She, I mean, her door was always open for all of us. She raised all of us. Sean Cunningham looks on in disbelief at the charred remains of the houses where he spent a lot of time when he was growing up. All raised together, man. All of us. I'm just, like I said, it's, 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 it's shocking me that something like this could happen. Cunningham grew up down the street, rushing to the scene early in the morning, relieved hearing everyone is okay, but hurting, seeing everything they lost. Everybody has been over here like a family. We're family, man. We're the whole community. We've been, everybody's been here for years. Man. It's crazy. Man. It's, it, it's shocking, man. In total, seven people losing their homes and everything they owned when the four houses began burning to the ground. Cunningham telling us everyone in this neighborhood makes up one family who will help each other out and pick up the pieces after this devastating fire. They need help. We all come together. One thing about us, everybody, everybody on Jewett Avenue, man, we, we, times like these, we'll definitely come together. All the support they need, we'll be here for The Red Cross is helping out all of the families. Now, as you can see, construction equipment is on scene now as uh, this house, these houses will be demolished after investigators wrap up their scene. Something many people in the community say they find upsetting as these homes and the families who live inside have been longtime staples in this east side neighborhood. Reporting from the east side, Allie Ingersoll, News 4. Thank you.